Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. In today's video, I wanted to do a Valentine's Day makeup look for you all. Valentine's Day is around the corner and you guys might want to, you know, start getting ideas on what makeup looks to create um, for that day. Even if you guys are going out for dinner or going out, like anywhere fancy or even if you're staying home or just want to just do a makeup look for going to work or whatever the case may be but you want to get all glammed up that day maybe this is a makeup look for you to maybe want to recreate um, I did use a lot of pinks because I love wearing pinks especially for Valentine's Day um, you know it's a very like pretty sweet color to you know to wear for um, Valentine's Day so I hope you guys enjoy watching this look that I created for you all. If you guys aren't subscribed yet to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and push on that bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos. So if you guys want to see how I created this Valentine's Day look for you all, just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette and going in with this color called Love. I'm going to be using my Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to be placing that on above my crease as my transition color. Next I'm going to be going in with this color called Passion and I'm going to be placing that on my crease. The brush that I'm using is the Sigma E38 brush in case you guys were curious. And here I'm just using my MAC 217 brush just to blend out the edges of that darker shade. And going back in with that color called Love, I'm just going to be placing it where we have placed that color before. I just wanted to intensify the color since when you do blend out your colors, it tends to disappear a little bit. And here I'm just doing a half cut crease. Um, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape to to use as um, my base before we apply our shadow. Next I'm going to be going in with this pretty pink color called Wild Child and I'm going to be packing it on. I'm using this Urban Decay shader brush and I'm going to be using it wet because it shows up better um, when you do spray your brush instead of using it dry. Next, going in with this color called Drama. It's like a dark purple shimmery color. Um, I'm going to be smoking out this eye look. Um, it doesn't show up so shimmery, so it looks really pretty on when you do put it on your outer corner. And here, I'm using my MAC 210 eyeliner brush. And as you can see here, my Stila liquid eyeshadow ended up breaking. I had just opened this, this was brand new, but whatever, it is what it is. So I decided to use it as an eyeliner to carve out the edges of the cut crease that I did. And um, so yeah, it, this is optional, you could leave it as is, but I kind of wanted to make the look a little bit more glittery. Next, going in with my MAC 219 brush, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette and I'm going to be using that color called Pink Champagne. This color comes in singles or also it comes in other palettes. It's a very pretty like icy shimmery pink color. And as always, I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Liquid Black Liner and I'm just going to be doing a wing because I always like doing wing eyeliners with a dramatic eye look. And I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Lash Paradise Mascara to prep my lashes before I apply my falsies. And here I'm going to be trying some new lashes. These are, these are the Salon Perfect 614 lashes. And here I'm just simply tight lining with some black eyeliner. This is the Graph Black Eyeliner from MAC Cosmetics. And here I'm just simply using the black liquid liner just to cover up the glue that 
usually is left behind when you do apply your lashes. And here, um, I didn't show you guys, but I did use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I'm using my favorite sponge at the moment. This is the e.l.f. Beauty Sponge to blend out my foundation. And to conceal my under eyes, I'm going to be using Tarte Shape Tape. In the description box, I'll put um, what shade is it that I like to use. And to set my under eye concealer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And to set my whole face, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And to bronze up my face, I'm going to be using Benefit's Hula Bronzer and as well as to contour a bit. And for blush, I'm going to be using Benefit's Hervana. This is a very pretty like pinky color that will go perfect with this eye look. And to highlight my face, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Gleam. And I'm going to be mixing all four colors. And I'm just going to be placing that on the high points of my face. I like to use it on my forehead as well. And I also like to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well as on my chin. And if you want your highlighter to look even more intense, you could apply some setting spray. I'm using Max Fix Plus and I'm just going to be reapplying that over the setting spray if you want it to look even more intense than what it is. And then going back in with this color Love, I'm going to be using a MAC 217 and just placing it on my lower lash line. Then going in with the color Passion, I'm going to be using it as close as to my lower lash line as possible. I'm just using a angled shader brush. This is like a no brand um, brush. But place this color as close as you can to your lower lashes. And then using the color Wild Child, I'm going to be placing it with a Urban Decay shader brush. The one that I used before close to my tear duct area. Then I'm going to be using this white eyeliner from my cosmetics. It's called Fascinating. This is just simply going to make my eyes look brighter. And I think it looks really pretty with this eye makeup look. And then finishing off the eyes, I'm just going to be placing some mascara on my lower lashes. And for lip liner, I'm going to be using this Jordana lip liner in the shade Tawny. And I'm going to be using the liquid lipstick from Lime Crime in the shade Marshmallow. And for lip gloss, I'm going to be using Laura Mercier's Lip Glaze in Bare Baby. And I'm just going to be placing it in the middle of my lips just to give it a little bit of gloss. And to finish off the look, I'm just going to be setting my eyebrows with NYX Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Brunette. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys.